Hey, it's Dr. Darren Schmidt at the Nutritional Healing Center of Ann Arbor. And uh, oftentimes I'll see somebody bash uh, nutritional research because it comes from a private group. And uh, so there's Verta Health, for example. This is a company started by Steve Finney. He's been studying ketosis for a long time and he got out of the public fund, uh, publicly funded uh, nutritional research so that he could do it the way that he knows it needs to be done correctly. So there's uh, vegans that bash Verta Health and Verta Health has shown great uh, results with the ketogenic diet. So that's just an example. And then of course there's uh, studies done by like the Egg Association or Pork Producers Association or something like that. Um, but what I'm going to do with this uh, video is use this website, the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission. And uh, this is a federal agency that tracks stock and um, uh, finance of uh, various companies, various corporations. And a corporation basically just really simply put is a group of people that they take in money and then they keep some of it and they spend the rest. So the bigger their income, the more they keep for themselves. And I'm not saying corporations are bad at all. Um, I have I have four of them myself and they're, all, they're limited liability corporations. But uh, the point is you got to look at what the data is, look at who the people are, what they're doing, uh, what their actions are. So let's use this website and search out some corporations. So I searched out Merck and here it is. Of course, you're gonna find Merck and Co. Pharmaceutical Company, that's a corporation. I typed in Whole Foods and there's several corporations under that name, including Whole Foods Market California, uh, Pacific Northwest, here's Whole Foods Market Services. Okay, so not surprising there. And then I typed in University of, and I have University of Chicago, University of Massachusetts, uh, we have Notre Dame, Rochester, Southern California, Tennessee, Washington. So a university can be a corporation and uh, they're bringing money, they keep some of it and then they spend the rest. So because there's research that comes out of these uh, universities doesn't mean that it's good or bad, depending on where the money comes from, you gotta look at the research. Okay. The last search I did for um, this website, we have, I typed in foreign governments. And here we have the province of Ontario. That's a corporation. The group of people that is the government of Ontario, they're bringing money, they keep some of it for themselves, and then they spend the rest. We also have Panama, Peru, and then the provinces in uh, Canada, Alberta, British Columbia, New Brunswick, Nova Scotia, there's Quebec, um, there's Argentina, Chile, Colombia, Indonesia, Korea, Portugal, South Africa, the Philippines, Turkey, Saskatchewan, the Kingdom of Sweden, United Mexican States, that's Mexico, Uruguay. So all these foreign governments are listed as corporations in the Securities and Exchange Commission. So the point here is um, just because uh, research comes from the pork producers doesn't mean that's bad. And just because it comes from a university with federal grants doesn't mean it's good. Here's a guy, researcher from Cornell. He's had 13 papers retracted. I'll put the link below. And it says, uh, how are they published in the first place? And I read through this and it blew me away because I remember the mainstream media giving us this fake news. I remember these, these headlines. I remember thinking, wow, that's really interesting. And it was interesting, but it's completely false. And so that's just this guy trying to be important. And like, for example, here's a pen. This is my office pen. I have, we have a box of 500. And this is important for us enough that we paid money for it. But if you have an agency like the USDA or maybe a university and they're trying to be important, so they give you a message. And the USDA message is eat the food pyramid style. And we're important. You need to listen to us because we spend a lot of money on research or we talk to a lot of people. And so that makes us important. Like that's the whole deal. So regardless, so forget this idea that authority matters, you know, the appeal to authority, it's a philosophical fallacy. So, um, and you can get really good research from private funding research too. really good information from that. All right. Um, now getting back to this, uh, first page of this website here, you can have a lot of fun typing in different companies' names. And um, I just want to touch on, like, even a tobacco company is going to show up in here. And they want you to buy their product. But every corporation wants you to buy their product. 
so the pork people want you to buy bacon. And my father used to be the president of the Ohio Vegetable and Potato Growers Association back in the 70s, and they want you to buy more vegetables. Okay, so anyways, just evaluate the corporations, the associations, the organizations for what they're trying to do and their actions, and think of it that way as opposed to, oh, that money uh, is, you know, dirty because it's from an individual versus the government. Okay, so that's, that's it. Um, have fun with this. I think it's super interesting information. And if you like it, please give me a thumbs up, share, and subscribe.